Hi guys! So today I'm going to be showing you how to make comic book flowers. A bunch of you guys had asked me after seeing me post these on Instagram how I make these flowers. So I had tweeted and done a Facebook post and Instagram post seeing if you guys wanted to actually see a tutorial on how I make these flowers, seeing as my life is consumed with making these right now. So I figured I would do a tutorial. Now, I've made probably, I want to say, about 60 of these so far. I'm not perfect at it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to like explain step by step. I might just show you guys how I do it. So we're just going to see how this tutorial goes. But if you want to see how to make these really cool comic book flowers that I am using for my wedding, then just stay tuned. Okay, so what you're going to need is a glue gun. Some glue for the glue gun. You're going to need something to attach the flowers to. I like using these like craft, craft sticks. They look like this. I'm just using these because they're easier to stick in the foam of the bouquet. You can also use um, floral wire or some form of wire or even popsicle sticks. I just like using these because it's easier for me. You are going to need comic books. I have seriously a ton of varieties here. I have everything. Um, I've basically been collecting comic books from people to make flowers out of, out of, so I have like everything from Star Wars to gem. Um, so yeah, you're gonna need a bunch of these. And then you are going to need some scissors. And optional, if you don't want to use the glue gun, you can also get Elmer's glue, um, but I prefer the glue gun just because it sets really quick and it's a lot easier with working with the flowers. Okay, so first things first, you're going to take your comic book and you are going to take out the pages of the comic book. I already have one out for you guys right here, so I'm just going to show you. But what I like to do is I like to go through and tear all the pages of the comic book and kind of put them together in a stack and it makes it a lot easier to do this. So my size flowers are about this big. This is average size, I guess, for a bouquet, at least from all the other tutorials and stuff that I've seen. So this is about average. and. For this size flower, you can get about two petals per page. So one flower takes two and a half pages of a comic book. So keep that in mind. If you want the flower to be bigger, you might get one petal per page. If you want it to be smaller, you might be able to get three petals per page. But what you need is a square. And how I do that what I is want, like, and I fold it in half. And then I take my scissors and I cut the paper in half. Now, if you're doing this on a whole stack, this will be a lot easier because you're going to be doing a lot at one time. And then I take the page that I'm going to use and whatever, whatever picture that I want on the outside of the flower, so like whatever I want here, like on this side, I want facing me. So what I do is I take the side that I have facing me, flip it over, and then I fold it into a triangle. So like I said, the side that you want facing out for the flower is out here. And then I just take my scissors and cut that part off, throw it away, and I have my triangle. Now, if you're doing this in bulk, which is what I normally do to save time, it will be a lot easier. In fact, I have a whole stack of them right here. And I did a bunch of these, me and Eric, kind of sat here and did it and we did it in probably about five minutes and I have a whole bunch of them if you guys can see so I like doing them a bunch at a time it just saves so much time so yeah see I have a bunch of little triangles now what I'm going to do so I'm gonna find it. now what I'm gonna do is I'm um, I apologize this is gonna be kind of backwards because I'm doing it facing me but whatever picture you want on the outside, so this is your petal, whatever you want to be here, you want facing down. So I like how that looks right here, so I'm going to face that down, and then you are just going to fold it like how I am. <laughs> I can't really explain it, you're just going to have to watch me.
and now what you need to do is glue them together. Now you can use Elmer's glue for this. I like using a hot glue gun just because it's faster. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hot glue gun and you are just going to put a little bit right there. Remember kids, if you are doing this, get your parents help because it is hot. I have burnt my hand many times. And then you're just going to fold it and press. I've also learned that when you take it and you kind of go like this, it also helps. But there you go. You have one petal. I'm going to do it again. There you go. Two. Now this is really easy. I like popping in some Netflix and just sitting there and making a bunch of petals at a time and then just putting, throwing them in a box, coming back and making all the flowers. That's the easiest way I found to do it. But if you want to make five at a time because it does take five of these to make one flower, then that's fine too. I just find it easier for me if I make a big lot of them and then just combine them in flowers. YouTube, I have five petals that are now soon going to be this. Now the way to get them like this, there are two different ways you can do it. You can take your stick, like so. I like doing pointy end down, especially if you're going to be, going to be making a bouquet, because that can stick into the foam. And you can take it and you can glue one and then surround them all around it. Or you can do it the way I'm going to show you right now. So what I like to do is I like to take one, like this. Take some hot glue. And just glue it on the side like so. Take my second petal, line it up, and press. And this is where using a hot glue gun really comes in handy because it is instantly, like, dry. If you were using Elmer's glue, you could also pull it apart or it would actually fall apart on you. So this is where I like using a hot glue gun. Now you can take the stick and glue it on now, but I just like doing four and then gluing it. I feel like it just sits better, in my opinion. But you kind of, you find your own method of doing this once you start doing... 60 of them. So that is the third petal. The flower is starting to take shape. We're going to do it again. And that is the fourth petal. Like so. And now, this is when I add the stick. What I do is I place it down, and I just kind of open it like this. And I take my hot glue gun. Let me get it in frame. And I just put a little line going down. This also secures the other petals in together more. And like I said, I put the pointy part putting down, so I take the stick. And I place it inside. And... There's a stick. Now it's time to add the last petal. Now what I do with this, I find the easiest way is to put glue here and glue here and drop it, no, and put it down. You can also put glue there and glue there and then put this in, but I found the easiest way is to do it this way. But like I said, you will learn what works best for you. another comic book flower. Now this one isn't 100% perfect because I'm doing it at a weird angle, but you guys can get the gist. So this is what the outside looks like with all the little comic booky things, and this is what the other one I made looks like. And now if you're like me and you're making a bouquet, this is where the pointy end comes in handy because you can just stick it right into the foam. Like so.
but this bouquet is empty, so I don't need to stick flowers in it. Then when you but are you guys, done, you will have a beautiful bouquet that is super colorful and super different and bright and fun and relatively cheap to make, especially if you have a bunch of old comics laying around, you have friends who have donated comics to you, and so forth. You can add some of your favorite comics to it. I know some of you are cringing that I just cut up comics, but I promise all the comics that were injured or dismembered in this video have been well loved beforehand. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty much requested. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you haven't already, and hopefully you guys will enjoy some new wedding vlogs. Bye!